Welcome back. Rachel Pollard joining us from the Kelms Canoe and Kayak Club on this Wednesday, rather Friday afternoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we've had you guys on in the past. Uh, you guys have a fantastic club out there. Yeah, uh, we you think guys, so. Wh which lake are you located on? Shumway? We're on Shumway Lake, yes. which is on the 5A between Kamloops and Merritt. And it's a beautiful drive out there, I might add. It is. Yeah. Yep, know it well. Yes, I bet you do. Uh, this last year, of course, with the wildfires, it was hard on you guys. It was. Um, this has been one of our more challenging years. We've been uh, participating in the community for 25 years. We've been offering programs. Um, we were set for this to be our best year ever. And due to the wildfires and the smoke, it just wasn't safe out there for outdoor activities. And we ended up having to cancel a number of camps. Mm -hmm. And so for a small not-for-profit organization where most of our revenue to do things, hire staff, keep our programs running, comes from those summer camps, we ended up having to cancel... Um, more than half of our camps and have lost about $25,000 in revenue. So that's pretty significant for us. How will that impact you, impact you going forward? Well, we're just in the middle. So the not-for-profit organization, we're run by a board of directors. The board of directors is actively working right now with our staff. Um, if you haven't met him yet, we have a head coach, Stanislav Merrick. He, uh, I have met him. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. He's the heart and soul of the club. And so we're working closely with him um, on what things will look like going forward. But we're really trying to take this as an opportunity to... Um, rise from the ashes, that's a terrible pun, but to rebuild ourselves, yep. rebrand ourselves, and maybe look at delivering programs in a way that um, we haven't before. So trying to take the challenging part and turn it into an opportunity. So um, looking at different kinds of summer camps, maybe different programs, different events. There's uh, dragon boating is increasing in popularity across the province. And so looking at trying to provide more opportunities for dragon boating. Um, all the, t all the while continuing to support our development and competitive kids because we have a team of about 20 to 30, not sure exact numbers, 20 to 30 kids who really rely on year-round training in order to achieve their yeah. or their athletic aspirations. And we have some pictures of those kids uh, awesome. showing them in their element doing what they do. Absolutely. So this is uh, Asset Regattas, which yep. are kind of like track events only with all kinds of boats out on the water. It's a pretty, pretty special thing. Yes. There's, and go ahead. Yeah. This some of our younger members. Um, it's really a life skill and a sport for life. So you see, we have kids who start right at this very young age, um, and regardless of how far they go, they end up learning skills that are going to help them have fun on the water throughout the rest of their lives. And these are life skills. These are life skills. They're not, oh, I just did that as a child. You, you can canoe and kayak your whole life and really make it a part of your life. Absolutely. I can tell you about my eldest son who um, started when he was this age. And there he is, second from the left. Lovely. They won a bronze, those boys won a bronze medal at um, the Canadian National Sprint uh, Canoe and Kayak Championships wow. this summer in Welland. Impressive. So pretty proud. Yes. We go kayaking on the ocean every year, and Stanley is now the best of all of us. Mm -hmm. And so that's something, you know, that ability to be competent on the water, he'll take forward in the rest oh, of his for life. for sure he will, absolutely. He'll, yeah. te he'll teach it to his children and pass that on, and that's the key. Absolutely. And good camaraderie, I'm sure. There's friendships that are developed out here that uh, wouldn't otherwise happen. Absolutely. So we really see ourselves as pretty uh, integral to providing another athletic uh, opportunity for not just kids, but kids, youth, adults. We have a master's program, we have recreational programs, um, opportunity for members of the community. And we are committed to keeping going mm -hmm, of um, and being, you know, coming back from this setback yes. stronger than ever. But I guess what I really wanted to do was encourage folks to um, give us a try. If you haven't already, we're coming back stronger than ever next year. Try out our programs. We're going to have summer camps, we'll have training camps, we'll have um, dragon boat opportunities, learn to paddle opportunities, all kinds of stuff you can do out on the water. So um, if you haven't already, then please do give us a try. And I would be remiss if I didn't make a plug. We have two fundraisers coming up yes. trying to you know, recoup some of our mm -hmm. lost revenues. So we have um, a wildfire fundraiser that is online. You can Google Kamloops Canoe and Kayak Club uh, wildfire fundraiser and that will take you to that. Okay. We also have uh, November 19th, I believe, we have a fundraising dinner at the Fox and Hound Pub with an awesome uh, silent auction. 
All those details will be on our website. Awesome. Rachel, we're out of time. I so appreciate you being here, and I certainly hope people are, are listening and, and thinking about signing up their kids next summer for some of these great opportunities. Thank you so yeah. much for the opportunity to share uh, what a great club we have. Absolutely, yes, for sure. Information on the screen, Cowell's Canoe and Kayak Club.ca. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us. Thank you.